Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to add the first name custom field to a ConvertKit email. So here I'm at ConvertKit.com, and if you go to my affiliate link, techdoneforyou.com forward slash ConvertKit, that'll take you to the same place. And ConvertKit has a free level, so I'll be showing you for my free level. So you'll log in. And then you have a dashboard area. And from here, you'll click on Send and Broadcasts. Broadcasts are one-time emails. So we'll go to New Broadcast. And from here, you can put in a subject line and you can also split test. So this is the A-B test. You can put in two different subject lines if you'd like. So let me put in my subject line. Okay, so I've just typed in my own subject line and then here we're going to put hi and then where the plus is you'll click on this and we'll go to insert personalization and so you have a couple different ways to personalize this so you can do the first name which is what I normally suggest you can also insert as a custom field the email address you can do tags or a personalized greeting and so I'm just going to do add to email right here. And this is what's called a custom field. And so it has code. And so if you edit this in any way or add spaces or punctuation to it, then it may not populate. So you wanna make sure you don't do anything to that custom field. So from there I can add a comma and paste in my content. So I'm just going to paste in my swipe copy. I'm promoting a JV partner. So when I'm doing this, sometimes I have copy in a Google Doc and I forget to add this first name. So you want to make sure you take that out if you have that in your, your copy. So I'll just scroll down and things like this, insert affiliate link. I am promoting, so I'd get a small commission if somebody signs up for her program. This is actually free. So um, if later on they sign up for her program, then I would get a small commission. So that's how affiliate marketing works. Let's get that affiliate link. It comes from Infusionsoft, which is a high-end affiliate marketing system. So a lot of marketers I know don't quite have the budget for Infusionsoft. So it's not one that I normally teach. So I'll just say friend, she's my friend. I worked with Alina at the University of Nevada, Reno back in the day. So before she had her business, I worked with her and we both worked at UNR and she was in the instructional design wing of the university and I was in the admissions records and financial aid departments. So you can add a PS if you'd like. So let's just do PS and I'll type that in. Okay, so I typed in my PS. I'm just going to bold this and make it a hyperlink. And I'm taking out the space at the end to make sure that doesn't break the link. And then from here, it says there might be broken links, but that may or may not be the case. So I'm going to brand this with my Tech Done For You header. And what's nice about ConvertKit is that it makes this automatically branded with my template. So I'm going to dismiss this and preview. 
I'll send a test email to just make sure that that's going to work. So it says it's been sent. I'm going to close the preview. And from here, I'll scroll back up. So let me check my email now. Okay, so here is the preview email and it did auto populate in the preview the first name. So you will want to scan over this, make sure that there's no typos and things like that. And in ConvertKit, when you're previewing, it kind of takes you to this preview mode first, and then you can check the link. And so this is an example of a good opt-in page that converts well. It's got lots of testimonials and two call to action buttons. And so it's got a pop-up too, so you can put in your first name and email. And it's also showing that people are signing up right now. So I'm going to go back here. There's the email. That looks good to me. And so I'm going to put in the second subject line and go ahead and split test. And so let's go to continue. And this is just another preview right here. And I'm just going to send it to everybody on my list. So you can send it now or you can schedule it for a little bit later. I like to send it usually around 8.30 or 9.30 because that's after the morning purge. And so if you're anything like me, you would check your email in the morning and delete any emails that you don't think you want to take action on. And so I like to send my emails after that purge time. And you can add preview text if you'd like. And so let's just add another preview text. So you can post this to your feed if you want. So you can set this up. Um, and I'm not going to do that right now, but you could always hook this up to social media. So let's go to continue. And it's going to a small list in my demo account. It's not my full list. And I'm going to go ahead and hit schedule. And it says, it confirms here the date and the time. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next video. Have a great day.